The DGX is a huge advance. It will allow us to explore problems that were completely unexplorable before and will allow us to achieve levels of performance that weren't achievable. There are a number of models that will greatly benefit from the DGX1. Most immediately, our language models that are trained on conversational data and our generative models of images will become much better at the result of the DGX1. We won't need to write any new code. We will take our existing code and we'll just increase the size of the model and we'll get much better results than we have right now. The DGX1 will shorten many experiments by weeks. But this is the, in some sense, second order effect. The more important effect is that it will allow us to ask better questions and it will accelerate our research in general. It will, since if something takes weeks to run, we can simply not do experiments with it. It's not practical. The DGX1 will allow us to run these experiments and to do research at this large scale. So one kind of uh, example algorithm that I'm excited about, it's called a language model. And the idea is that you take a large amount of data and you feed it to the network and it figures out the patterns in how words follow each other in sentences. And so, for example, you can take a large amount of data on how people talk to each other on the internet, and you can train basically a chatbot. Uh, but you can do it um, in a way that basically uh, the computer learns how language works and how people interact, and then we can get much more data in terms of how people interact with each other. And eventually we'll use that to talk to computers just like we talk to each other.